your story. And tonight, your story, we feature 94-year-old Mze Philip Toikan Olelemain. Mze Olelemain, Narok's first ever senator, is a four-time presidential award recipient for his distinguished services to the Scout movement. But he considers the richest part of his long life as being one of the founding members of Kadu, along with Kenya's second head of state, the late President Daniel Arab Moy. He wasn't able to attend the, the last rites of his longtime friend, but he holds dear memories of a man he knew in his prime, a man he wants the nation to never forget. This story was suggested by Ruben Motochi, and this is your story. No two people tell the same story. Mze Philip Toikano Lelemain holds in his hand a vintage photograph whose views are black and white, worth more than a thousand words. He is part of the cast with the founding makers of Kenya, a young nation. The year is 1969, and the picture is of a delegation from the Maasai community to Moi's home. <laughs> This is your story. But let's take you back to the beginning. Olele Main met Daniel Arab Moy in 1942 at the Government African School and Teacher Training College in Kapsabet. Lemain was training to be a P4 teacher and they became friends instantly. A lasting memory of his friend that remains etched in his mind is that of a college friend, two years older than him, who gave him his first pair of shoes. They parted ways after their training. Moy went to teach in Kapsabet boys and Lemain in various schools in Narok. But in 1954, Moy was elected to represent the Rift Valley region in the Legislative Council. After the 1962 Lancaster House Conference, Philip Lemain was elected as the first senator for Narok District from 1963 to 1966 in post-independent Kenya. Yeah, yeah. Viti. After the dissolution of the Senate in 1966, Lemain with Moy's backing was elected the first MP for the Narok South constituency. The two friends then met in Parliament, where the former president represented the larger Baringo. Moy, who had teaching in his heart, asked him to go back to teaching after his service in Parliament. He even offered him the resources, land, dairy, cattle and loans to settle down. Mze Moy, Lemain recalls, preferred to eat meat, popularly known as Yamachoma, whenever he visited Narok. Alikuwa anakazo sana wasichana kuenda shuli wakati maasai na kata akalasimisha pamoja na machifu pamoja na watu wa pale kushawishi maasai kulima wangano machifu walilasimisha kuleta wa toto school wasichana na wavulana boy alikasa katika hii hii yetu during his teaching career, Mr. Lemain taught some prominent Kenyans such as Professor Ole Kare, former Chancellor of Mo University, Titus Ole Naikuni, former Kenya Airways boss, Stephen Ole Ntutu, former Senator for Narok. On November 24, 2019, Mze Philip, aged 93, received his fourth presidential award from President Uhuru Kenyatta, the Silver Lion Medal, for his distinguished service and exemplary service in the Scout movement. In 2012, Mze Lemain was awarded the head of state commendation HSC by former president Mwai Kibaki for his service in the district peace committee. He also received the long service decoration from his longtime friend, former president Daniel Moy, for his distinguished services to the scout movement. All this after he was fitted by president Jomo Kenyatta in 1969. Mze Lemain was devastated that he could not attend Mze Moy's burial. He had hoped that the organizers of the state burial would take him along to witness the last rites of a man he called Friend. He had a song in his honor. <laughs>
Jane says Moy, who was of the Chumo age group, as is described in Kalenjin, similarly known as Nyangusi in the Maasai community. The bond of friendship was strong, not easily broken, even by death. Dorka Swangira Citizen TV, your story.